So for this video, I'll basically read out my letter to you to try and explain how to structure your ideas when it comes to writing a motivation letter. So when you're writing a motivation letter wherein you're in a competition with other people for a scholarship or even a job or even, I don't know, anything and anything that needs a motivation letter, there are some questions you need to always have in mind. Like questions, you answer them indirectly in your letter. So the first question will be, why are you applying for this scholarship? Like why? The second will be, why do you think you are the perfect candidate for this scholarship? Why should they choose you and not someone else? And the last question will be, what do you think you can bring to the table? So I think that's it. So when you're writing a letter, always try to have that in mind. Now dive into the letter, um, it's nice to always have it in mind that you need to shorten your letter. You, you need to have like five, to, I'll recommend personally, six to seven paragraphs. And consistency and precision is the key. If you think you're writing eight sentences in a paragraph, make it consistent. So those are the little things that really impact. It makes someone wants to read your, your letter actually. So uh, you have to choose a font. So there are academic fonts like Times Roman, I think that's my favorite. You could use that as well in your letter writing. And line spacing should be always 1.5. So the basic things you're supposed to have in mind when you want to write the letter. First things first, you start with dividing your letter. Like you have to organize your ideas. You need to have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So without wasting time, I have my second phone. I'll read aloud like what I actually wrote in my letter and you see how I structure my ideas so that it can be useful to you when you're writing yours as well. In the introduction, you show your particular interest to your field. So you start selling yourself, you start giving out your ambition. So for mine, this is what I wrote. Birdie to also note that when you want to write a letter in, uh, in the German format, everything should be aligned left, like your name, the date, date and your address should be aligned left and the address of the recipient should be also aligned left. For the subject, you should write, let's say, let, let's use mine, my application to the scholarship program Leadership for Africa, you underline. Always start with, dear selection committee, you know, politeness imposes us to do that and that's, that's, that's how it's supposed to be written. So. In the introduction, I like try to sell myself already. I try, I, I think I went into a little story first, so you could choose what suits you. It depends on your project. So I wanted to like make it a little bit global, so they can see, you know, where I'm going. So I wanted to like bring them into my world, so they can, so I can really showcase myself and tell them what I wanted them to know about me. What I did was, I will read out loud. Dear selection committee, I am writing to express my interest and strong will. To apply for the dad DAD scholarship program leadership for africa so you need to mention why you're even writing in the first place then i gave a little quote language is the highest of many ways evolution has granted us to communicate our emotions and thoughts it is incredible to think that every language began with a sound which began to develop in order to express different emotions to understand humankind we need to understand language why and how we communicate so i like try to capture them so they can have a little idea of what I want to like give out. And I ended up expressing why I am interested in what I want to study. And I went on by saying, that is why I want to study linguistics, so as to understand why and how languages work. I already show here my interest in languages. That's what they want to know, if I'm really interested in what I want to study or not. Also, assessing, diagnosing, and helping to prevent communication disorders in children as well as in adults seem a more compelling path. After the successful completion of my master's degree, I would like to convert to speech therapy. So, like from the onset, they know what I want to do in the future. They know what I'm passionate about. So that's what you're supposed to do at the introduction level. Now, let's move to like the second paragraph. Since I said let's structure our paragraph to like six to seven. So let's go to the second paragraph. Um, for the second paragraph, let's see you already know your interest. You now need to identify a problem. You make them know, okay, there's this problem. I think with my humble contribution, I can 
as can like even participate in solving it so also emphasize your contribution to the program and how your work can be beneficial to your motherland that's what you want and so i went on with with what i wrote i went on nowadays many children suffer from speech pathology and the situation is becoming alarming this delay is due to some nervous disease which affects a child a child's ability to speak and others from autism getting the opportunity to participate in the program leadership for africa will give me the chance to acquire quality competencies which will enable me to train children to to regain speech which will be beneficial for the society so here i actually identified my problem and proposed how i could come into play to solve this situation i hope you're feeling the structure and feeling how my ideas are flowing let's continue to the third paragraph what you can do in the third paragraph in the third paragraph you're just like adding some spices to what you said in the second paragraph which is like emphasizing that you actually know what you're talking about you actually know how you can contribute in solving this problem and what i wrote was so i carried out many research they should know you in you actually know what you're talking about which is by doing research and so i carried out many research on how and what it takes to be a qualified speech therapist i found out that there is no specialized institution in cameroon qualified in the training of speech therapists this scholarship program will give me the chance to study in germany land of ideas with its well structured and rigorous school system acquiring quality linguistic aptitudes which, which will enable me to be a well trained therapist so i did not only say that i know what i can do but i also emphasized why i chose germany why germany will be a nice country for me to come and do my master's degree fourth paragraph let's see how the ideas keep flowing and how they keep being chronological and coherent um, after identifying your problem and you've already talked of Germany, you should now say why you choose your university because you need to study in Germany. You should now say why you choose your university and what the courses offer which can help you attain your goals. So I went on with pursuing a master's degree in applied linguistics, acquisition, processing and use of language. So that's my program. That's what I studied. At a prestigious university of efforts which permit me to take an in-depth look at the scientific principles of linguistics and their possible applications. Hence, courses such as language and brain, language acquisition and multilingualism, use of language would definitely be beneficial in working towards my goal. So when you've identified a, a master's program, you should like enter into the course outline and really see what the program offers you. That's what I did. That's why I could like list out some courses I would take that could help me. That putting that makes the jury know that Actually, you know what you're talking about, you know where you're going to, you, you actually, you master every path and that's what they need. Doing that gives you that self-confidence. They need people who are confident, people who can say something and actually be able to do it. So that's the mindset of someone who is screening for, for a scholarship competition. Furthermore, after emphasizing on your courses, you should mention you have the capabilities, the academic and maybe experiential capabilities to pursue this master's degree they also need that that's why i wrote thanks to the swift progress of my master's degree in bilingual studies i developed a keen interest in finding out the ways of the different ways of teaching students a second language and i found this intriguing and exciting some undergraduate courses such as initiation to linguistics so that's what i did in my bachelor's psycholinguistics and language acquisition written and spoken english and french the massive grammar of both languages helps me establish a strong foundation as well as sharpens my knowledge of this discipline regarding issues of first and second language learning and contrastive analysis moreover my teaching experience at the college yaoundé was a stepping stone that enriched my understanding of the problems faced by second language learners so with already a notion on this and what i intend doing they will automatically know that okay i have the background academically to pursue this master's degree and complete it successfully and i also have some experience into the field that's very important they need to see that the next thing to do is to convince your jury that without you there's nobody else supposed to choose i mean maybe know that you know what you want 
and you are the best match you are the best candidate ever like you make them proud so this effect i went on like this i believe that i am a very diligent and highly motivated student while studying to obtain my bachelor's degree i always passed with grades above average i never failed to turn in any due assignment i am certain to push through with the dedication i've always worked with to accomplish my goals i am convinced that participating in a program leadership for africa will give me the opportunity to study so as to contribute to the further development of my country by being an additional speech therapist to both children and adults with difficulties to speak I hope to be given a chance as I am confident that I am capable of meeting and even exceeding your expectations. Oh my God. I mean, I'm being very humble, but very certain of my capabilities. That has nothing to do with arrogance. On the contrary, I'm like showing that I'm sure of myself and I can do this and I will do it. And they have to invest in me. They have to choose me. And that's the spirit. Just follow my steps. Just follow my recommendation. And you will see for yourself. You produce just award-winning motivation letters. So you conclude your letter with the spirit of confidence and assurance that if they invest in you, they won't lose their investment. And I went further with saying that, furthermore, considering my, my academic performances and motivation, like I'm doing now a synthesis of what I've been saying before, I am sure of completing my master's studies together with the complementary study programs in good governance, civil society and sustainable project management. Knowledge in these complementary courses will give me more insights to the problems faced worldwide like environmental problems and equally make me fit appropriately in the society after my training. So that's how I ended my letter. Because the program leadership for Africa was not just about um, our master's course, it's very hard to receive extra training. So you need to make them know that you even know what the extra training are about and how it would help you have a better career, how it will help you help the world. How My little tip, like what I always do, is always to end with a thank you because this thing can be very consuming, be it time and even emotional because you have many letters in front of you and you are human as so always end up with a friendly note making them feel that you know the stress they go through and you know it touches and i said i wish to thank the selection committee for the time spent in reading and assessing the different motivation letters thank you for considering my application so when you end up like this you always try yours faithfully and you sign so i think i'm already at the end of my video i didn't want it to be very long i hope i was not very long and yeah you should have in mind that a motivation letter should not be more than two pages try to really be concise and precise and keep it really short keep it two pages maximum and structure it as i proposed to you like structure your ideas because you need to read from the beginning to the end and feel that you know what you're saying you know what you will do and you know where you're going so that's very important because that showcases your self-confidence and that's what they need. They choose people who are self-confident. And that's what I wrote to have this scholarship. And here I am. I had a scholarship and I finished my studies. I passed the training for the, the those extra training. I passed it. I can help you in any way. Just always use the comment section and leave your messages. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.